Welcome to our island hopping adventure. We'll be taking you to visit the most beautiful islands, snorkeling and swimming with bioluminescent plankton. You guys are here. We're going to make a tour of the islands right now. Seven islands. So we'll go until the night and we'll have dinner. Yeah, yeah. Apparently we are going to stop in the last island and then there's something to it. So meanwhile, just have confirmation that they have vegetarian options. Yeah. Here at the port, ready to go to our boat. We have our pens and our goggles. On Pranang Beach or Pranang Cave, we're gonna go to Tang Meng Island. Thailand has more than 100 islands, so we thought this would be a great way to get to know some of them. Leaving the Aonang Pier behind, we're ready for our first adventure. Shall we go see some Nemo's and so on? <laughs> Did you know that Thailand is home to some of the world's best snorkeling spots? And it's all thanks to its crystal clear waters, vibrant coral reefs and colorful marine life. The best time to go snorkeling is during the dry season, which runs from November to April. During this time, the waters are calm and visibility is excellent. Many tour operators, just like this one, offers complete equipment and a guide that takes you to the best spots. We just hop off the boat on our, well, the third island, but the first one we are actually in and uh, able to visit. It's called Teloek. So it's really beautiful and you can walk to another island. And I was telling Chuan, oh, this is amazing for us to like shoot with our drone and all that. But, well, it's not so, permitted. It's not possible. You can be fine with 1,000 baht at roughly 27 euros. After staying in that island for 30 minutes, it was time to go to another snorkeling spot. Snorkeling is such a great way to explore Thailand's beautiful underwater world, and it's suitable for people of all ages and swimming abilities. But if you don't like snorkeling that much, many island hopping tours also include other activities such as kayaking, swimming, and relaxing on the white sand beaches. But in my opinion, snorkeling in Thailand is a must-do activity for anyone visiting the country. Just finished snorkeling and look in his face. I don't know if he's more happy for snorkeling or for the pineapple. And just like that, the sun was setting and it was time to go to our last island to have dinner. They have so many options here, you guys. You can have plant-based meals or you can have regular meals. It's really up to you. And everything was super delicious. Then it was time for the highlight of the tour for us, swimming with bioluminescent plankton. It was such an unforgettable and unique experience. It is as if you're swimming with sea stars when the bioluminescent plankton lights up the water like the night sky. Just imagine floating in the dark water and with each movement you make, the water around you lights up with a display of glowing blue and green sparkles. It's amazing. It was so much fun sharing our experience with you guys. You can find the link to the tour that we did on the description. Thanks so much for watching our video. We will see you pretty soon.